administer enthroned enforcements. Matthew chapter 16, verses 18 and 19. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. The Lord Jesus here is describing to us the church that he was going to build. And of course, we understand that the church was born on the day of Pentecost by the power of the Holy Spirit, and the church is on the earth today. And he is referring to that church that he is building. Now, when talking about the church Jesus is, that he would build, Jesus said that we would uh, uh, advance to the gates of hell, and the gates of hell will not be able to stop us. Now, keep this in mind, that gates are stationary. The church is the one that advances. The gates do not attack the church. The church attacks the gates. The gates represent power centers. It represents areas of demonic domination. So the church advances to the gates of hell, to places where there is demonic activity, to, to, to places where there is demonic domination. We advance and hell will not be able to stop us. The powers of hell will not be able to stop an advancing church. And Jesus said that the authority of the kingdom, the keys of the kingdom is vested in the church. And he said, that we will bind and lose on earth what God wants to bound and lose up in heaven. How did he make this possible? He put us there in heaven. The Bible says he made us sit together in heavenly realms in Christ. So now when we, the church, are walking on the earth, we are actually walking with authority of heaven here on earth. Or as Jesus put it, with the keys of the kingdom the authority of heaven here on earth because we are actually seated with Christ in heavenly realms. And with that authority, we advance to the gates of hell. With that authority, we bind, which is prohibit, which is uh, to say no to the, to the works of the devil here on earth. And we permit, we lose, we allow on earth what God wants done here on earth. But we have to exercise that authority. We have to speak that authority. We have to bind and lose, which is action that we take on our part. So when you come into a situation and you see something happening that should not be happening, you say, in Jesus' name, I bind what the devil is doing in this situation. Or I bind this confusion. I bind this disturbance. I bind this evil work. Or you lose, that means you release. You cause to come in. Uh, what God wants there. I release peace. I release joy. I release the blessing of God. I release the kingdom of God. You say those things because we are to bind and it loose and to enforce uh, what God wants here on earth. We've been enthroned to do this. Don't waste what God has done for you. Use it. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much that we are part of this church that Jesus is building. And we have the authority of God's kingdom vested in us. Help us to do it, Father, we pray. To exercise, to walk in it. By your spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.